What's up guys, Maxim Maxworks here, and today we're gonna to do an unboxing and review of this 50H mag drill. Um, so before we cut to the video of the unboxing and the assembly, um, let's talk a little bit about what a mag drill is and um, you know why, why this is a tool that somebody might wanna have. So the idea of a mag drill is you have a vertical drill, kind of like a, uh, like a mill or a drill press, and the bottom you have an electromagnet. And the electromagnet is able to secure to a piece of metal. And so, for instance, if you want to drill a bunch of precise holes in a welding table, this is really good because it's basically like a drill press that you can attach to a larger item and drill on the spot. Um, these are predominantly used in like the shipbuilding industry, skyscrapers, heavy industry, where you have vertical and overhead steel um, things that you need to drill holes in. Uh, this specific model I got off of eBay. Uh, I paid about $280 delivered to my door after some haggling. Um, it's not sponsored or anything like that. It's just me. Um, there's a bunch of different uh, folks on eBay selling these, and there's a couple of different designs and models, and you can decide for yourself what you want. This is kind of the big daddy, the 1550 uh, watt unit. They also smell, sell a cheaper, smaller 1100 watt unit. That might be appropriate uh, for some people, but I wanted one with kind of the longest travel, the biggest boring depth, and that's able to turn the biggest bit. Um, so let's cut first to the unboxing and assembly. Video. Okay, now that we've uh, taken this everything apart and assembled it, um, let me kind of run you through what comes in the box. So first of all, you get some instructions. Um, these are actually written in pretty decent English, but there's not really a ton of information in here um, that's really useful to anything. Um, you get an Allen key. This Allen key is designed for you to be able to install and remove bits. Um, I don't know what size this is offhand, but uh, it seems pretty standard to me. You obviously get the mag drill, you get a coolant reservoir for the mag drill, um, and then you get, with this one, you get six different bits. Um, these are what, call, are what are called annular cutters, and they also come with a central pin for them to make it a little easier to locate your, uh, your drill. And this kit comes with 9 16 13 16 11 16 15 16 1 inch and 1, and 1 16 of an inch. Uh, annular cutters. We're going to find out if these are actually any good. Um, this is a pretty standard uh, bit type. Um, it's a 19 millimeter and you can find annular cutters from name brand manufacturers kind of in this, uh, in this style. So in terms of power, this thing has 1550 watts. It has a no load speed of 500 RPM. Um, it can do about 3500 pounds of magnetic force to hold it in place. Uh, basically, once it's latched on, it's not going anywhere. And uh, they come with a piece of rope and a clamp. And a lot of people don't know what this is for. Uh, primarily, mag drills can be used overhead and on vertical surfaces. And because it's an electromagnet, 
If you lose power, you lose magnetism. If you lose magnetism, the drill can fall. This drill, standalone, weighs about 40 pounds. It's got lots of sharp corners on it. The very last thing you want is to have this fall on your head, hard hat or otherwise. So generally in you know, an OSHA environment, you're gonna use a piece of chain to secure from the handle to some sort of fixture so that if you lose power and the drill falls, it can only fall so far and the chain will catch it. That is what this rope is included for. Um, it's a safety item. Here in the shop, I primarily am gonna use this kind of in the position it is. So overhead isn't really a huge concern for me. Let me show you on this side first. On this side, you need to use these set screws here to adjust how much resistance there is on the drill bit. Otherwise, it's going to fall. This basically controls the resistance of the drilling head as you uh, run it up and down. So once that is set, the drill is basically ready to go. It's plugged in. There's a fuse, a light, and two switches. The big switch controls the, uh, the spinner head. The little switch even though it's backwards in here, actually controls the magnet. So as you can see, I can pick this up, move it around pretty easily. If we flick this button, the red light comes on, the magnet is engaged, and now, 3,500 pounds worth of magnet, uh, it's not really going anywhere. And so now, for instance, you would be ready to drill, you turn on the master switch and then begin you know cranking this guy down and this drill has about eight inches of total travel will bore a two inch hole two inches down um, the smaller drills are limited uh, to less than that um, that's kind of it that's all the features it's not a very complicated tool but a, uh, a lifesaver because when you need a mag drill there's really nothing else that will do the job uh, as well as a mag drill so, with that being said, I'm going to get some test pieces set up and we're going to do a little bit of drilling and see what this thing is like in real life. So, for our first test here, this is quarter inch um, square tubing. This is uh, receiver stock, so this is kind of the thing you make a truck hitch out of. And a truck hitch needs a pin. This is a 13 16 bit. I chose this just at random. We put down a little bit of cutting oil. The magnet is on. Um, and so now we're going to lower this down. Let's see. That will help. We're going to turn the drill on. It's going to be a little loud. And just like that, you've got a bunch of very, very sharp uh, shavings that I want to not cut myself on. And there is our little, our little core, which is obviously super duper hot. Um, the other cool thing is these cores are very close to perfect circles and can be used for stuff um, if you're of the mind. But this is a very, very good... Um, clean cut. Let me bring you guys in here so that you can kind of take a look a little closer at kind of what's going on here. And you can probably hear the humming. The humming is actually the um, electromagnet. And you can see all these shavings are here are stuck to the electromagnet. But you can see that is a very clean hole. And unfortunately, I don't even have proper cutting lubricant. We're literally just using Mobile One uh, 5W30 so the, the smell in the garage right now is, is pretty, uh, pretty special. But we can also um, secure, so the way this works is there's a little feed line here and that's kind of where um, it'll trickle down inside of here, cutting fluid, if you wanna set it up. Now, the only thing <laughs> I have really in the shop that's beefier than quarter inch is this one inch thick um, block. Honestly, this is kind of more of a test of the uh, annular cutter than it is of the um, drill. But let's just see what it does with this. We're just
I'm gonna take you guys in for a closer look again, just to prove this is really one inch thick. There's the slug that kind of came out of it and there's you know my finger for comparison. Um, honestly, you guys saw the, the drill barely slowed down, felt really good. I think I could drill a hundred of those holes with this bit and not worry about it at all. So this thing seems to be pretty good. I'm gonna put you guys back on the stand and then we're gonna wrap up this video. So that kind of concludes our little uh, unboxing and review of this tool. I'm super happy with it. It destroyed this one inch piece of uh, mild steel. I have a couple projects planned for this tool. I'm very excited to have it in the shop. I'm excited to bring you guys along with me uh, for those videos as well. Um, if you like the channel, hit the like button. It really supports, um, supports the channel. lets me know I'm moving in the right direction. Make sure to subscribe, hit that bell. I'm shooting for new videos uh, Monday mornings. Um, we'll see how long I can, I can maintain that streak. Um, leave me a comment. Let me know what brand uh, you guys like, whether you have experience with these, if you've ever seen one of these fall on somebody. Let me know down in the comments below. I'm very excited. This piece of equipment seems very industrial, very well built, and I'm excited to build new stuff with it. As always, I love you guys. Peace.